We just got a new event in Fall Guys called Gift Grab, and it's basically the Fall Guys Christmas event. The event is pretty simple. You basically collect these gifts that are placed around the levels, and the more gifts you collect, the more challenges you complete. And once you complete all the challenges, you unlock the free Nutcracker costume. I'm gonna be completing the event in this video. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. There's a gift right there, right at the start of this level. I went and grabbed the gift right at the start of the level, but then I noticed that there were weren't really any gifts over here at this section. So I just went through the pipe and then looked for more gifts. Not gonna lie, if there's no other challenges where I have to win or do anything else, this is probably one of the easiest events in Fall Guys. Because you're literally just collecting things. That's the only challenges you have to do. I said that in the moment, but little did I know it was gonna get a lot harder later on. We got a bunch of gifts and we qualified. The next round was Hoverboard Heroes. And this one caused me a bit of trouble. Okay, there's a bunch of gifts right here in the middle. So I have to wait for the hoverboard to move up. I should be able to get all these. Epic Games was really sneaky here. And they put a lot of the gifts on the edges of the hoverboard. Making you nearly fall when you try to jump jump for them. Okay, there's two right here. I can get one right here. This section of the level is really good. There's a ton of gifts all in one place. I just got like five or six right there. This is by far the hardest part because you have to watch out for the lasers while you're getting the gifts. The gifts are placed on the edges of the hoverboard, so it's incredibly difficult to get these without getting hit off. Luckily, I managed to survive though, and I got all the gifts at the end. Let's go. Yo, a lot of people died. There's only six players left. Okay, we got Hexagon for the final. Are there any gifts in this level or do I just need to win? I was surprised to find out that there were actually no gifts to collect in the final. In the last Fall Guys events that were like this, they all had collectibles in the final too. But this event doesn't for some reason. It doesn't hurt to get an extra crown though, so I figured I'd just go ahead and win the final anyway. I was doing well after just carving my own island until I realized that there was a competitor. This green bean was on the way to take up all of my tiles and I needed to do something about it or else I would have nothing Nothing left and I would just fall to my death. I kept grabbing him multiple times until finally I was able to catch him right as he was jumping. Then I went head to head with this red bean and it was super close, but luckily I managed to get to his island and then he fell and I was able to win the game. Okay, so we got 200 event points from that. I might as well go ahead and collect the items that we got so far. Okay, we got a nickname so far, grabbing gifts and uh, kudos, nice. If I'm gonna be collecting gifts, I need to wear an outfit that's more fitting. I need to be Santa Claus. All right, here we go. We got Whirligig. Wait, isn't this kind of evil? Like I'm Santa Claus, right? But I'm not giving people gifts. I'm taking gifts. <laughs> this is evil Santa Claus. He's taking the gifts back to the toy factory to clean them. At this point, I was near the end and I was gonna go try to grab more gifts. But then I realized people were qualifying really fast. Okay, I think I'm actually just gonna qualify. I could have gotten more gifts, but I just wanna be safe. Okay, we got Stomping Ground. Holy crap, this is literally the gold mine of gifts. There's a ton of gifts here. I guess since it's a survival round, they want to put a lot of gifts all in one place. Luckily, there's only one rhino. That should be easy to avoid. Literally seconds after I said that, this happened. Oh no! Hey, we still got the same amount of points as we got the last game. We got 200 again. You don't really need to win the games to win the challenges. Let's get some more gifts. All right, here we go. We got Tundra Run for the first round. Tundra Run is definitely one of the easier levels in this event. The gifts are pretty easy to get with little obstacles to avoid. I checked on the left side to see if there were any gifts down there, but there weren't. However, on the right side, there was this one singular gift squeezed between the two punchers. It was really hard to see. You really have to look for that one. When I tried to get this gift up here above the puncher, I literally touched touched it, but it didn't give it to me for some reason. That must be some sort of bug, but it's very strange. I got a little bit worried because I realized that people were qualifying super fast, so I knew that I needed to disqualify. Then I was this close to falling off, but at the last second, I managed to save myself by grabbing up onto the ledge, and then I used the flipper to qualify, and I literally qualified last place. <laughs> I was last to qualify. That grab was clutch. Okay, here we go. We got Jump Club and once again, there's a ton of gifts all in one area. This level was very simple. Not much to be said here. The gifts are all in one spot since it's a survival round. So I just grabbed all of them easily. Okay, we got Pipe Dream. There's only one at the beginning. There's like barely any in this level. Okay, there is two right here. Wow, yeah, in the race levels, there's just not really that many at all. This level was really easy and it was going well up until this point. Ow, oh, come on. Stop, stop, don't hit me off. Don't hit me, oh, you 
Jesus Christ, I keep getting hits. I was being bounced around like a pinball. There were a lot of gifts to collect at the end, and I was going to try to go for all of them. But then I realized a ton of people were qualifying super fast on this level too. So I just didn't have time, and I had to just go qualify with everyone else. Oh, I gotta go. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. Nice, we just barely made it. Okay, we got Kraken Slam this time, and once again, there are no gifts here. So this is just another pointless round. I guess it makes sense, they just want people to get a crown if they want to, but it would have been nice if they added the gifts into the finals too. The blue platform started tilting, and it nearly killed me, but luckily I was able to jump to the green platform and save myself. After that, I thought I was safe for good, until I tried to jump over to the next tile, and I bumped into someone mid-air, and we collided and he hit me off. The goddamn body blocking in this game is so annoying, man. The player collision. Nice. We got 200 event points again. That's all that matters. I just want to get this nutcracker skin. Oh, we got the lower for it. That's pretty good. Let me equip that. Okay, here we go. We got DoorDash. There's only one at the start right here. It's really tough on the race levels because you need to focus on getting the gifts. Like, yeah, right? But you also need to qualify. If you try to go back to collect more gifts, you're just gonna die. So it's, it's a weird combination of making sure you're going really fast and making sure you're getting as many gifts as possible. It's pretty fun though. It adds like a, a new thing to the game. I'm not even gonna go for the Big Eatus because I know that I can get more gifts here. Can I get this one? Nice. Ooh, we got Tail Tag. Okay. So how many gifts can I get here? Oh, okay. There's a lot. I don't know how, but I managed to go through this entire level collecting all of the gifts without getting my tail stolen for even a second. Now, I didn't even notice this as I was playing because I was too focused on getting the gifts, but but looking back on this now while editing, this is ridiculous. I mean, how did I manage to do this? I was going around in so many places, nearby so many people without a tail. It's crazy to me how it didn't get stolen. But yeah, I got pretty much all the gifts and I qualified easily. Okay, we got hoverboard heroes again. Just like the last hoverboard heroes that I got, I had to be really careful going for the gifts that were on the edges of the hoverboard. But other than that, it was pretty much the same thing as last time and I qualified again pretty easily. Then we got roll off for the final. Final. And once again, there were no gifts in the final. So the final is pretty much just there if you want to get an extra crown on your belt. But you can't do anything for the challenges in the event. I'll be honest, nothing really interesting happened here. So I'll just cut to the chase. I want it. <laughs> 200 points again. Okay, we still got a couple more challenges to do before we finish the event. It looks like we need to qualify. 500 gifts? Oh! So I didn't see this at first, but yeah, there is literally a challenge in the event where you have to get 500 gifts. This would be way too long for the video, so I just decided to do it off camera. But I'll tell you, it took me about 45 more minutes of gameplay to complete the rest. That's a long time for just one of the challenges. Okay, I finally got all 500 gifts and I can now claim the Nutcracker costume. Let's go. Let me know what you guys think about this event in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.